All right, well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back. My name's Andrew, and you're watching the Kelly's Country Life. So today is pole barn build. I don't remember. <laughs> I guess maybe number four or five video right now. We're about to set the first trusses up, so I wanted to catch that. And by the way, I should explain. I'm always back here behind everything talking because uh, the contractors have music playing and things going on that sadly YouTube will not allow me to catch on camera. You get copyright strikes if they hear music in the background, etc. So that's why y'all see me lay a lot of licensed music over what's going on. So thought I'd take the time to explain that. So let's go watch them set the first truss, and then I'll set it up in a time lapse mode and we'll watch all the work that goes on today all right so here they come to set the first truss and what they did was this post right here is our reference post this is the high spot of the building and remember all those reference lines i told you that they set and made on the post using that laser level well what they were able to do is measure from those reference lines after cutting this first post and knowing the exact inches that they need above slab which is 12 foot eave height and they just went and cut all the rest of the post to the same light or same height measuring up from that reference points that way you don't have to pull a line do level nothing that laser level already did that for them so we've used those reference marks on those posts now uh, twice one for measuring footer depth and how we want to pour the concrete and now measuring from that line that's about right there up the post to make them all perfectly level All right, so while they're bringing that truss in, I'll show you what they've done. They went ahead and laid out all the main building steel trusses. This is on the 30 wide part of the building. I apologize for the uh, radio in the background there, but I think you can hear me okay. Everything is bolted together on the ground. They're bringing it in with a tractor boom and gonna set it. And again, this is the main building trusses. Those are the lean to it over, over there, the 10 footer. So we'll get those out later after uh, they determine pitch and cut the last of the post over there. Come down a little bit, John. Come down. All right, y'all ready? Yeah. 
Well, as y'all can see, the sun is setting, so we thought we'd come out here and give you a quick look. So Tiffany just got home, so this is her kind of first look at this too. <laughs> we have a beautiful pergola. <laughs> pergola, huh? It is a pergola. That's exactly what it looks like. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we hope tomorrow it is not a pergola. So hopefully y'all have enjoyed the uh, time-lapse footage up to this point. We just thought we'd come out here and check it out. Everything looks really good uh, up, to, up to this point. So tomorrow they're going to come back and actually cut these ends off a lot shorter, get everything nice and squared up, um, and then they'll start sheathing it. We'll have to get a quick inspection from the building inspector, and then we can start laying underlayment on top of that for a vapor barrier, and next comes all the tin that we have laid over here. So it is definitely coming together. Hopefully this will give you kind of a good general look of what we got going on. We'll go down here to this corner and give you a look back. You inspecting it? You seeing if they dropped any crumbs today. <clears throat> all right, so here it is. And for all of y'all that are new to the channel, I know this is a huge roof. It's actually uh, 2,800 square foot under roof, but we're only doing a 30 by 50 area right here, as in living quarters. That over there on the side will be a side porch. And then we're gonna have a really big uh, back porch back there. It's 20 foot deep and technically about 40 foot wide. So now you can see why we are working so hard on clearing that oak tree out so we can get that beautiful view out to the pasture and our animals. We are definitely outside people. This is all about entertaining for us, for some close friends and family, and uh, just enjoying life. Okay, y'all, hopefully y'all enjoyed that. And a lot of people seem really excited about the build series with the house. So what will be coming up next? Like I said, we'll be sheathing the roof. We'll be putting an underlayment down, tin on it. Uh, we've got to get an inspection. We'll be putting rake metal on the side that'll keep the tin from lifting. We'll go over some of the uh, the codes and inspections there for nail patterns, etc. A lot of people seem very interested in the details on building this house. Let's see what else? Oh, we'll have to do some drip edge and a few other things like that as well. So I'll be sure to include all that. Thank y'all so much for watching. We appreciate the influx of new subscribers. It means so much to us. And hopefully y'all are gonna enjoy this build series right here because there's gonna be a lot more videos coming on the house. And like I said, we'll, we'll do our best. Some people seem really interested in this because they're looking at doing it. We'll do our absolute best to cover as many details as we can from calls to inspections to code to everything we can think of. Mm -hmm. Sorry again for all the gnats that are swarming the camera. <laughs> this is going to be a constant problem for the next few months in Florida. Eventually they will go away. So appreciate the support. Appreciate y'all watching. Catch you on the next video.